great consequence. It looks as though we're going to have a great turnout, such as being the level of enthusiasm generated once the fixture was announced. There is still movement in the crowd, plenty of people yet to take their seats. The roads outside are very, very busy, particularly around this time of day. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. We have already started here. Robust defending and the ball's been lost. Enzo Perez. Saka gets the better of his opponent and gets the ball. Big chance! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. And it's been taken short. River Plate can counter promptly here. Now then, the ball's come loose. And that's been won straight back. Oh, what a ball! It's run loose here. He's looking for the runner here. De La Cruz. It's Barco. River Plate still without a single shot on target. Well, they've got it back in a hurry. Shaka. Jorginho played out to the right. He's in plenty of space here. Ball's gone out of play. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. Massive leap! Good delivery, but no joy. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. De La Cruz. Spread out to the left. The ball is loose and the chase is on. Out for a throw. Gabriel. Saka. Still, rather frustratingly, it is nil-nil. Now it's Barco. Now it's Saka. Arsenal with a chance to counter-attack now. Now this could be... Shapes to shoot! Well, he had a really good run at goal there, but the defence just weren't going to let him past. Great hit! He scored! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half-time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. And we've reached half-time. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And we're already back on the way here. River Plate don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Forwards and with intent. Barco. Enzo Perez. Now, who's going to be first to this?
Crossed into the box. Tries to get it clear. River Plate are definitely going about this the right way. This is a really front-footed approach. Well, the question now is whether they can sustain... Oh, that is asking for trouble. Oh, good spread. Now, looking to orchestrate a counter. Just eases him off the ball. Out to the left it goes. Looking for the runner. Can he latch on to this? Gabriel Jesus has a goal! Really well taken goal. Substitution for River Plate. Number 11. River Plate have Number turned to their bench and we're going to have Number a substitution. Arsenal grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. Well, at 1 0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Saka. Poor pass that, sloppy. Number two. Saka, who's made his mark on this game. Arsenal ran themselves into the proverbial cul-de-sac there. Still no way through. The defending here is resolute. Sends it forward. River Plate can admit to being second best so far. They've not looked together enough and concentration levels are well down on the standard we expect. Nice little ball through. There will be one minute at a time. And time.